My name is Katherine Korf and my business is Katherine Korf Designs. I studied architecture. I had always dreamed about working in interiors and residential, um, the residential side of it. And so I went to University of Illinois. Um, my godfather, who's my dad's uncle, also studied there and was an architect. And so um, in exploring schools, that's just, it always had my heart and that's where I landed. After college, I landed in an engineering firm and I am definitely a left side of my brain creative, but um, I still wanted to be in that design world. Um, and so although I loved my teammates and the people that I worked with, um, just wasn't really like where I saw myself. And so uh, I started creating on the side and then this kind of just snowballed and kept becoming something that I never dreamed of and here I am. say my mom really inspired me to get into interior design, architecture, that kind of thing. She always spent so much time and so much effort just making our home beautiful and making it cozy. Um, and that really is something that stuck with me. I just loved coming home and that was like a feeling. Um, and so that was something that I took interest in and wanted to continue to pursue after I moved out. A day in my life, um, is not glamorous at all. <laughs> um, I would say I wake up um, and Derek wakes up and he goes to work and so in the morning we spend time just drinking coffee, taking care of the dogs, um, nothing fancy at all. And then when he leaves I just kind of dive into all of my communication with my you know my clients and just friends on Instagram which is where my business is mostly run um, and I take care of all kind of the computer work and just make sure there's nothing lingering. And then after that, I take a look at my orders for the week and the upcoming deadlines and I say, do I have to hit the shop? Do I have to stay inside and work on some lettering stuff or do I have to hit the studio and uh, work on some wedding stuff? So I kind of just am all over the place. There's never a consistent plan for each day. Um, and I think that's what keeps it entertaining for me is that it's always different. So back in, I wanna say April, um, Derek had been kind of looking for a change in his lifestyle and I was growing to a point that I needed to bring somebody on to help me and so you know I had been dabbling back and forth do I bring someone new into my garage and work from home with that person or do I continue trying to make it work on my own um, and so we kind of hit this line where I said why don't you come and try to help me um, and just kind of see where it goes. And the really interesting part about that is Derek is so business minded. He's production minded. He is orders out the door. Let's go. Let's get, you know, checklist tasks. He changed my business. I mean, he really made me rethink the way that I produce, the way that I am um, more of a business than just a creative account. Um, and it was just really good for me to kind of look at things through a different lens. One of the great successes that I've had with my business that I'm, it just is special to me, I wouldn't say it's anything um, extra, extraordinary, um, is I had a soccer coach. I played semi-pro for about three months after college and I kind of came and went and I wasn't really in there super emotionally because it was overwhelming for me, kind of a new experience. Um, definitely wasn't one of the best players on the team. But four years later, um, that coach reached out to me and she said, I remember you, um, I've watched your work unfold. I'm, I am you know, astonished by what you've created. Um, I have a huge wall and you have creative freedom. Here's my rug, here's my couch, here's the way the room looks. And she just um, took faith in me after like me coming in and out of her life very quickly. Um, and that was one of my biggest geo orders to date. And so that was special for me, but also just the client and the trust that she put in me after knowing me for such a short amount of time really was special and it's something that I'll hold on to. And it was also um, a geo that I look back on and I'm really proud of. And I think just understanding that the client really trusted me and she really believed in me brought me to a new level of creativity and it's just something I'm, I'll hold on to for a really long time. 
A moment I felt proud about the work I've been doing is, um, so I set goals for myself. Um, sometimes they're not thought out at all and I'm just like, how cool would that be? And sometimes they're really thought out and one of those goals was getting into one of a kind, the December show, which is um, one of the biggest art shows in the country. It's very toughly juried. Um, and there's just artists from all over the world that are really incredible and, and very refined. Um, and so for me, being just like kind of a go as you go kind of person, I really thought that would be something that, not that I look for the, um, outside like affirmation, but I just knew that if I got in, like other people see it too. Um, and so getting into that show was definitely one of those moments where I just stood back and I, and I was really like, wow, I'm doing this, you know? I would say my ideal client is someone that invests their attention in me as a person first. Um, and those are just the fav my favorite kind of people, the people that have been watching my dogs and watching everything that I'm doing. You know, I like, I don't really like the word behind the scenes because there just it really isn't a behind the scenes for me. Like my life is my business. And so um, my ideal client is someone who, who knows that their purchase is really changing my life. And it's not just a purchase like from a big box store, you know? I obviously love when an order comes through that I had to do no communicate, you know? It's nice just for the financials, but um, then I send it off and I don't know where it's going, you know? So I love um, giving a piece of art to someone who I have interacted with multiple times outside of selling, right? Um, and so on that front, my marketing strategy for my ideal client is really just engaging with them as people first. And um, that's brought me, honestly, relationships even just as much as orders. So that's what makes this so fun is that it's not just a transaction. It's really a relationship that I'm creating with my ideal customer.